I know it's important on these ones because, yeah, we didn't see any like these, but we can multiply the 10 by that square root. Multiplication is great because we're just combining so the stuff. So with 960. So really we're just looking for factors of 96. <laughs> we're going to keep that 10 there because it means that we've already simplified this a little bit. So in other words, this could be an answer from a previous one where you could have taken this and uh, simplified it a little bit, but it means we need to simplify it even further, okay? okay. So using method two means I'm gonna split 96 up. I can see three goes into it, looks like 32 times. Holy cow! Now we've done 32 as well. He's a well, nine and six are both divisible by three. Himself. Okay. He's Albert. I don't remember a lot of fat wizards, but whatever. All right, so I've got eight and four on this one. Some of you guys would use 16 and two. Four splits up into two and two. Eight splits up into two and four. And then four splits up again into two and two. So right there, all the circle numbers are the factors. And we can see that there's already not any pairs with the three. So when we write this out, we can't forget the ten. Then we got the square root of all those numbers. Three times five twos. Three, four, five twos. All right. So on at these, I'm just looking for pairs of numbers. There's a pair of twos and there's a pair of twos. And that means that I can take these out as a two times a two. But I can't forget that I've got that 10 right account. Now in the square root, I'm just going to write all the numbers that didn't have uh, pairs like this three and this two so they stay inside three times two So this is expanded what I want to do is now simplify these So I've got 10 times 2 times 2 which is 40 Times the square root of 3 times 2 which is 6 Bam. Oh, no, but that's not simplified enough. No, it is 